Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. I'm here to report the 14th day, the two week mark of the Clean 21 program cleanse. And now I can truly say time does feel like it's flying by because I am amazed that there's only really one week left of this cleanse. Um, I can't say that it's something that I'm like looking forward to, ironically. I'm really very much focused on continuing this way of eating going forward, especially when it comes to being mindful about eating whole, organic, non-processed foods. Um, it's always been a thought in my head, but not something that I really adamantly pursued. Uh, not like I'm going to now. So like, I'm gonna add other things in and gotta start uh, having thoughts about adding adding foods back in that are like one at a time. So I think I'm going to start with dairy, not really like milk or cheese or anything like that, but I, you know, maybe start with eggs and I have this uh, paleo keto toast that has egg powder in it. So I'll just kind of start with that and see how my body gauges it. We had a meeting today with the uh, originator of the program, uh, Alejandro Junger, and, and that was a really cool conversation just with family and some friends that are all doing this cleanse together got to share updates and how our experience has been going so far and everybody is doing really well. Um, I'm very proud of my parents for how they're, <laughs> my, dad, my dad just uh, said shut up. So um, I guess I'm just not going to listen to him today. But right. yeah, the uh, everyone, I'm really proud of them for being able to do this, especially my dad, my, both my mom and my dad. This is a major change in commitment to do something like this kind of cleanse. Uh, so, and they're doing really well. The first week was rough with just body aches and kind of head aches and stuff. Definitely detoxing from caffeine and alcohol and sugar. The, those are very much the things that are causing uh, related to the, the detox effects, negative detox effects. And uh, yeah, um, uh, just like got some really good feedback from Alejandro about my sleep pat, uh, my sleep issues or my, my kind of being tired issues. And it's something that I was thinking about already, but he confirmed it, how the stress of the car accident and just the, the stuff of dealing with car insurance agencies. And I'm staying up late that one night, all that stuff contributed to feeling really tired. And then yesterday I, I definitely had a headache after I did my video and came home before that was the latest I ate. I probably ate around 4.30, did my salad around 4.30. And that was uh, too late. I think that definitely contributed also to the headache. Um, no problems today whatsoever. Feeling much more back, uh, back on a, a good track of feeling good and mentally clear and having good energy and everything like that. So yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely, I'm definitely uh, really happy. I've lost, uh, still, uh, still at the 16 pound mark. And I weigh myself every day. And I know that some people say you shouldn't do that, but it's just kind of been interesting to see. I've been losing about eight tenths of a pound every day for the most part. I uh, felt very full yesterday after eating my salad. I did eat a big salad. So that, again, back to the being connected with my feelings of being hungry and full, waiting that long to the day for me to not have any food was not so good because I overate. I had a much bigger salad than I def than I needed to. And I felt full for hours after that. And it's, it wasn't, I mean, it was a salad. It wasn't like eating a you know big meal with potatoes or whatever. I felt full and a little uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, just, you know, small portion sizes and then also eating earlier in the day. I think, you know, between noon and Noon and 2.30 is the, my window of eating my, my lunchtime meal. And thinking about what I wanna do after the cleanse, uh, throughout the week, not have a shake every morning, but maybe like two to three times a week have a shake in the morning for, or for, breakfast, for breakfast time. One of the things that Alejandro was mentioning was it, with your supplements and the products that you take, like nutritional packets or protein powder, or even vitamins. Uh, you don't want to be doing them all the time, like every day kind of a thing. You want to break them up. Maybe not the vitamins as much, but definitely the products like protein powder. So 
Uh, I definitely want to do a shake at least three times a week, but then also mix it up with having something like uh, a piece of Ezekiel toast with some avocado and a fried egg on top of it, just to keep the bio uh, availability going and you train the body not to just get too accustomed to one thing. I even remember that from when I was doing my juice cleanse. They recommended that you don't want to just do the same exact juice every day. Something to do with how the body gets used to all of the stuff that's coming in. You're not metabolizing it the same way. Uh, I guess your body is just really in tune and the cells are really in tune with making sure that you're getting new stuff all the time. So you don't want to just be doing the same thing over and over again. We've got to change it up a little bit. So yeah, and then eating uh, a meal, uh, I think after the cleanse, getting dinner in, you know, bef bef like 5.30, 5.30 dinner. Before the cleanse, dinner was happening anywhere between seven and eight, which is too late. And it would be much bigger of a meal, not great, not the greatest quality ingredients. I mean, tasty is, of course, because I cook really good food, even if it's not uh, <laughs> like kosherly healthy in the cleanse world. But yeah, smaller portions. And then if there's going to be, uh, you know, just it, eating at night, definitely, or like later in the day, want to do smaller portion sizes. Smaller portion sizes in general. So yeah, um, just wanted to report that everything's going good and I'm feeling really good. It's a cloudy day here in Southern California. Uh, it's been kind of a normal winter out here from uh the years that i've been living out here there's, it's just very very dry before i moved to california it would rain a lot in the winter so it's the kind of like getting back to that uh acclimation um which is nice it's gonna be a really green summer which i'm very excited about so yeah i hope everyone's feeling good out there thank you for watching and for everyone that's doing a cleanse or taking care of their health just know that you are doing the best thing you could possibly do right now when it comes to taking charge of your life, being empowered, and sharing the wealth with the community. Because there's a great statement that Alejandro shared that I want to just leave on this video is community is immunity. Community is immunity, everyone. Kind of a different message than we're getting from the media. <laughs> but to hell with the media. Keep on watching, keep on doing some good health stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.